think a good multidisciplinary nets team would include a medical oncologist, an endocrinologist, a surgeon, uh, a nursing uh, team, uh, supportive services like diet, dietary, nutrition, as well as psychosocial needs, um, often a nuclear medicine doctor depending on the type of treatments that are involved. But it can involve others as well. It really depends on uh, the different net centers, but I think those are the core members usually. They should get all the information uh, at one moment. So it's a one-stop procedure. They come to this multidisciplinary team, they meet all the specialists that are going to take care of them in the next few months or, or years. I think what a net specialist centre can offer to patients is a place where there's a multidisciplinary team where different people who are passionate about treating nets and understand what neuroendocrine cancers are and what the latest treatments are, as well as potentially an individualised treatment plan so we give the right patient the right treatment at the right time. I think that really highlights um, what we all advocate for in that all patients need to be seen within a net multidisciplinary team um, because ultimately they are then going to have access to, to, to all of the treatments, to specialist care, to specialist nurses, to clinical trials, uh, to support, to patient information, everything that, that we hope that they need in order to have the best possible experience under very difficult circumstances. One of the features that really stood out to me from the NET patient survey was the need for multidisciplinary care and how important patients recognized that need. I think we in the NET community have understood that, but it was really an important message that patients were sending us about the need for multidisciplinary care for NETs. The fact that NET patients who have visited the NET Centre of Excellence feel much more secure, less frustrated and less isolated is really a benchmark finding showing us that uh, obviously these are the centres that focus on so the competence but also let's say the, the most high level attitude and quality of relationship with the patient. Because I think it's not just let's say the sheer management of the disease in terms of parameters and uh, tests, it's just also the relationship that the patient gets with his team of physicians. And I think that's what's reassuring and that's what uh, gives power, empowers those patients. Respondents who had attended a multidisciplinary team or a net specialist centre are less frustrated and they are more confident in their disease management. And I believe this is uh, a direct correlation to the relationship between a multidisciplinary team group and the net patient. There is greater education, there is, great, uh, there is more comprehensive um, uh, testing and, and support and the net, uh, as shown in the survey, uh, the net respondents um, uh, feel a greater degree of confidence that, they, that no stone is left unturned that they are getting the best quality care um, and that as provided by a multidisciplinary team approach. If you look at uh, what came out from the Global Net study was that they were more pleased when they go to the net center. And I think the reason is that um, they get more information. They have also a strong feeling that uh, the people around them are really knowing what they are doing. And also that they get the correct information and the correct management. If you look at the data from going to other uh, oncologists or other doctors that are not experts in this field, I think they have a lot of questions that are not answered. For patients who see a net specialist team, uh, it, it changes everything. They have the information they need to be proactive about their journey. Uh, they are working with the people who truly understand the disease. They understand how to diagnose it, what are the treatment options, how to follow the patients. And when you get that kind of information, 
you feel empowered? Well, I think for the whole net community, uh, the survey is incredibly important. It's the first piece of data that we actually have that show us how patients are experiencing care, how patients are experiencing the disease, and really what impact it has upon them and their lives. And I think that's why we all want to, imp that's what we all want to improve. And I think that's why this data is incredibly important to all of us, both as NETS treaters and NETS patients as a community. Mm -hmm.